Hey guys, I was gonna be doing a Christmas special, but I screwed something up, so I'm gonna, <laughs> I'm gonna show you something else. I was watching a playthrough game on the game uh, Titan Quest Immortal Thrones, and if you can see right here, they kind of look like Hearst Arts uh, watery cave walls, and so I, that gave me the idea to make some. So I'm gonna show you how to go from this to that in just a couple easy steps okay so I'm gonna hand it over to the wife unit first thing first things first go to your scrap bin I always keep pieces that are you know fairly reasonable size just go to your scrap bin and cut out some oblong pieces circular kidney bean shaped whatever Okay, and then uh, here you go, honey. Okay, so now I've gone and done that. The next thing you're going to want to do when you cut these out, if they're fairly short pieces, if they're fairly short pieces, um, you don't have to worry about varying your height, but a lot of times I'll cut them to get not only more pieces, but to get different heights. So if they're next to each other, they'll still look different because they're different heights and I'll have different pieces on the tops of them. So it's a great way to get more with working less, which is what you should be all about. It's what I'm all about. It's what, what we should all be about. Because um, we're all going to die someday, right? <laughs> now, what I'm doing is I'm going to, as you can see, I've sanded the top edge. You don't want to go in very far because you're going to probably be stacking on top of it. So I just go around and I just knock down the edge and that's all I do. And I used my bandsaw to cut these shapes out. You can use a wire cutter. Um, there's all sorts of uh, tools that will, well not all sorts of tools, those, those are the two best tools to do it with. Probably most of the people I'm addressing out, out here on uh, YouTube are uh, hot wire people and um, it's an excellent tool for this this particular job so now I've knocked off a couple of edges okay now I'm using a soldering iron this is very dangerous it's extremely hot from this point on so I keep it in a cup I learned this from Sean at Blue Table Painting uh, man's genius. It uh, you can't get burned. It's a little warm, but no warmer than a coffee cup. Um, and it keeps keeps it from flipping and stuff. They have little metal arms that you can put them on. Very dangerous. I don't suggest using them. I suggest go getting a coffee cup. Okay. So I've already drawn my shapes out. I've cut them out. I've got my different heights. Now I want to get those water kind of rivulets. Now, the shorter it is, the more dangerous it's going to be. So I'll work with a longer one. And you want to keep your hands away from this. I go to about an eighth of an inch to a quarter of an inch from the top, and I just burn down a line. I got this probably on 30. Yeah, I got it on 30. Probably want to run 15 watts. And then you just go down, go down, go down. And just remember, keep your hands away from this. And if the little kids are watching this, talk your dad into doing this. Don't you do this. Okay? And now I've got a little one that will go on top of that. Now if it's real dangerous, I will put it down on the table. Main thing is, is keep the fingers away. This is very hot. And then you just put it on like so. So now you take your hot glue gun. I just put the tiniest drop of hot glue on there.
I glue it down. If I have a little bit of excess glue, I just, you know, I can wipe it away with my finger. And you don't have to have your, your hot glue gun on high, you can have it on low. Oh, I didn't sand the top of this. That's the other thing. Sometimes it's hard to sand these, but now that it's glued down, I can get a better grip on it. And then you just want to knock that, that sharp edge off. So it makes it look like water hit it and ran down it. But that is all you need. Obviously you're going to have a little, little spider web sticking out of it from the when it melted. But it's, it's a very nice looking piece. It looks real good next to your guys. You can do a whole dungeon like this. In fact, I'm considering doing that. Uh, show them my bin. Imagine how many of these you can make from that. That's why you don't throw stuff away, guys. You'll always, always, always find a use for it. And you'll kick yourself later if you throw it out. So here's my little... Uh, holiday how to make uh, watery cave caverns. Hope you enjoyed it. Love you. Bye-bye.